Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where last time we tried to become a little bit more eco-friendly here at Cupboard Zoo. So as you can see we now have many many wind turbines over here, we've got our own water tower now which is all very good, and we've got methane collectors on some if not all of the water pumps, just to make sure that we don't pollute the air quite so much with animal bottom burps. So I think we are pretty green now, but you know what? We can be greener, we can do much better than that. So first things first, I think think we get some more wind turbines in on this little kind of stretch of land down here because if we're being honest we're not going to do much else with this bit here it's only sort of one sort of tile wide it's very very minimal down here and do you know what these wind turbines fit perfectly along here I mean I still think they look too close together I still think that is an accident waiting to happen. At some point we're going to see loads of broken kind of blades spinning around the place and there's going to be all sorts of terrible injuries and lots of complicated insurance forms to fill out. But do you know what? The game seems to be happy enough right now. So I think we'll get a load of wind turbines along there and they're very good. They're very cheap as well. And of course they generate lovely green power and we can get money for that, which is all very nice indeed. So I think, yeah, what have we got now? Almost five grand. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely fun. I think they're in the facilities. There we go. So let's get, I mean, yeah, they're 100 a piece. So we can get what? Another, we can get loads in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Another 12 of those. That is very, very good indeed. Look at this. Look how green and responsible we are. And then I think with all of the water pumps, I think we need to fit the kind of methane collecty things on them. The only thing is, I am pretty sure there is a water pump. There we go. There is a water pump. It's kind of hiding behind that thing. So I think, yeah, let's upgrade this as well. So it includes methane collecting capabilities. So there we go. It gets a little kind of golden hat type thing. Now using that, can we see where the other water pumps are so there's one up there that's got its little kind of golden hat on that has a golden hat on i think there are a couple of other ones there we go so that one there so upgrade that that is very good and that one down here upgrade that as well okay and i think that's it i think that is it for our sort of uh, methane sort of uh, collecting abilities right now because I think we've capped off all of the different sort of water pump things. And we now have many, many wind turbines. That, I mean, yeah, okay. We did spend a little bit of money on that right now. That was, what, $1,200. So, you know, a bit of an outlay. But I think in time, that will pay back very, very nicely indeed. Okay, right, wonderful stuff. Let's get time moving on, shall we? And we've got, there we go, we have a tradable variant in the zoo. Now, the only thing is, the only thing is, have we got more than one of those? We have. We now have more than, well, I think we might have three by the look of it. There's another one hiding under there. Yes. Okay, right, hang on a second, hang on. We can now go and do some trading. Also, is there anything in here that we want to go and grab? Uh, no, not by the look of it. Okay, so they're interested. Here we go, right, here we go. Yeah, this is a couple of pigs. So we can get some pigs, which is very exciting. Okay, so we have some different pigs, but these are kind of your, your classic kind of pink pigs. Um, yeah, okay, so you can have one of those snakes and we get two pigs. Yes, London Zoo, I agree. This sounds like a wonderful kind of deal. Um, who shall we send over? Nutmeg the snake, Frisky the snake, or Mackenzie the snake? Let's not send Frisky the snake because Frisky the snake might be required for some sort of breeding program at some point. You might be writing letters to the stork, Frisky. Um, how about, I don't know, who's the oldest? Nutmeg is the oldest. Yeah, okay, Nutmeg, you can go away. You can go to London Zoo. I heard it's lovely there, it's wonderful. Um, yeah, okay, so do that. We now have two uh, yeah, classic kind of pigs there. So, okie doke, there we go. That's exemplary. I can't wait to hear about how they settle in. Perhaps not the most exotic of animals, but they are certainly my favourite. Yes, they look wonderful. Okay, and now we need to say where we'd like them to go. The only thing is, that is going to be very, very squishy in there. They are going to be very pushed for space. Okay, they can go in there for now. I think that what we need to do is we need to buy this plot of land. How expensive is that? That's two grand. Okay, so we can't do it right now. But I think we buy this plot of land. We expand the zoo up that way a bit. And then we build a nice, great, big kind of pig enclosure. Because the pigs are quite big. The pigs are quite big and they need a bit more room to roam around. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll move time on for now because we need that money to tick up. Also, we do need to get to the um, to the end of the week, really. Look at the buses coming in. Oh my goodness me. There is a little kind of bin lorry thing. We do need to actually get the recycling center in as well, 
They've got so much stuff to get in. But look, lots of people. Ooh. Ooh. You're not happy. Why are you cross? You were cross just then. You had a big kind of angry face over you, Chris. What's going on there? This place is kind of fun. Not perfect, but better than sitting at home. Yes, it is. I also noticed that you have $57 on your person. Would you be willing to... Uh, would you be willing to part with that, possibly? Maybe on some refreshing drinks or something. I don't know. Look at all the money from the people coming in. We've just gone back up to almost three grand. It, there's so many people. <laughs> that is that is very silly. Hang on. Can we um? Can we stop? Oh no, that's not an angry face. That's somebody really happy. Oh, is that what it is? Ah, yeah. They're finding a bench. All this walking is tiring me out. Yeah. Now up here in this corner. We were going to build a little kind of, I think that could be a habitat possibly, that could be like an enclosure. And over in this corner, we were going to have a little kind of rest area with a shelter and a drink shop. And the subways can go in over there, I think. I think that we might do that on Monday, when all the money's gone out for the wages and such like. I think that might be worth doing. Okay, right. Research-wise, what are we doing in terms of research? What have we got? 12 points. Do we want to start looking down recycling? Uh, oh, a zoo bus upgrade, a red bus. Ah, bring more visitors per day. Have we got the um, sort of the biogas or whatever it is yet? Have we got that going on? Because that was mentioned. We're collecting all this methane, but can we use it for anything? There's something just there. There is something just there which looks like it might be travel related. I don't know if it's necessarily kind of bus related. It looks a little bit like a kind of subway thing. Is it worth, is it worth all oh, forest enclosures? I wonder, let's spend 12 of our points on that. There we go, forest enclosure. Um, okay, it's just a different type of subway pack. That's a bit of a shame. And then we have animal enrichment, a high striker. I don't know what that is. What is that? I can't work out what that might be. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, yeah, I still think we need the info kiosks. I still think we need to get those. That's another eight research points. And there's that shiny thing there as well. That looks like it could be something very, very good. But to get that, we need another nine points to unlock some lampposts. My goodness me. And then, yeah, we're almost at the point where we can build the release hub as well, which is over here. It's put one of our sort of task things. Have we got any other tasks that could go over here? Um, yeah, that we're not going to get near to that, I do not think, Kathleen. Uh, buy a bigger bus, that does not need to be on the side. Uh, research zoo buses, that doesn't need to be on the side either. The genomes thing, yeah, I think we do keep that on the side. Uh, yeah, discover the different types of animal keeper, bit of a weird one. Uh, build a burger shop. Do you know what, can we can we pin that? Um, have we already pinned that? No, for some reason we can't pin that. I don't quite know why we can't pin that one. Uh, build two subways. Uh, incinerate five animals in one day. Mike and his creepy, weird tasks. Um, and yeah, Mr. Mr. Attenborough down here. I assume it's Mr. Attenborough. Um, yeah, he wants us to release an animal through the release hub. I think when we get to that point, we have to do that as soon as possible. Um, yeah, okay. I'm surprised we haven't done this. I'm surprised we haven't sold 50 cola drinks in one day. I thought maybe we'd have done that by now. Are there any others? Uh, no, no other quests right now. Oh, there's so many mission-y things going on. Okay, right, that's fine. No point pinning anything else then. Uh, right, okay, move time on. Yeah, that thing there, I thought it was an angry face, but it's not an angry face. I thought they were the eyes. Uh, there were two eyes above it, and then sort of like cheeks and a mouth. But no, it's like a paw print, isn't it? They're enjoying the animals. That's what's going on. I thought they were furious, but no. Here we go, more people coming in. So many buses coming in. So many buses. And we don't pay the bus drivers anything at all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, generous bus drivers. Um, ooh, hang on. Hang on. We've got eight types of animal now, have we? Oh, look, there's so many geese. <laughs> there's so many geese and so many rabbits. Yeah, it's the geese. It's the geese. Okay, hang on a second. Then. Hang on. That must be down here in the breeding thing. Um, okay, so they are... They've not produced... Oh, hang on. They might possibly produce the new sort of type of rabbit that we've been waiting for for a while. However, yeah, look at that. They've got the big, the big kind of goose thing. The one with the big kind of feathers. And then we might be able to use that to start doing some other breeding things at some point in the future. However, I do think maybe we need to get rid of some of these now. <laughs> There's quite a lot. There are quite a lot of these. Um, yeah, how about... How about... 
we say farewell to Tristan the Goose. I think Tristan the Goose is the same type as Gizmo the Goose. Don't get rid of Thelma. Um, yeah, it, I, I still think it's very hard to sort of work out which ones are which. Okay, so Tristan is... Tristan's a boy goose. Um, okay, maybe that's the only one we get rid of right now. What about... Oh, hang on. We could get rid of Chips as well. We could get rid of Chips. Tristan and Chips. Okay, there you go. Get rid of you two. Right, so farewell for now. Enjoy the new zoo wherever you go to. And... There are many rabbits. The rabbits are, are breeding like rabbits. Is that a new type of rabbit? I think that might be a new type of rabbit. Hang on, how are we doing with the rabbits? Yes, it's one of the initial ones over here. So now we only need four different types of rabbit. Okay, however, <laughs> there are there are many, many rabbits. I think possibly, yeah, some of these should go as well. Um, yeah, Whiskers, uh, Lucy. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we're getting rid of one of those types of rabbits. So I think, oh yeah, Bubba and maybe Thumper. They're getting on a bit in years. Maybe we can send them to a lovely retirement zoo. The lovely, the, the grand zoo in the countryside, possibly. I don't know. Um, yeah, don't get rid of Chad. Um, Opie and Pluto. They look like the same kind of rabbit. Um, I think, I, I can't bring myself to get rid of Maggie Moo because they're called Maggie Moo, which is brilliant. How about we get rid of... Hang on, what gender is Maggie Moo? That's a girl rabbit. How about we get rid of Pirate the Rabbit? So just get rid of those. Yes, indeed. And that will sort them out, hopefully. Uh, we do have an enrichment problem somewhere else. Is it the... Oh, oh there's, there's so many capybaras and so many snakes. <laughs> okay. We have many, many things going on. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, hang on a second. Hang on. I see the capybaras we've not really done much with at all. We've not really done that much at all. Okay, right. Who are the older capybaras? Sorry. Uh, Pongo. Pongo, you can you can depart. Um, Comet, you're a grey one, but we'll keep Brindle behind. Um, and we'll get rid of Ty and Fonzie, possibly. So that'll leave that'll leave plenty still back here. So yeah, okay, so they can they can depart. And then over here. Let's get rid of some of our 12 <laughs> bajillion snakes that we seem to have acquired. Oh, there's so many snakes. Um, okay, right. So again, I find it very hard to work out which ones are which. Like, which of the ones we want to get rid of? Checkers and Snowball. They're, oh, they're little, though. They're baby snakes. Maybe we want to keep them for future sort of breeding purposes or whatever. Um, okay, Mackenzie the snake. I think you can probably go. Because we have another one of those of that type. And then Tucker. Tucker and Patch and Chocolate all look the same. So let's get rid of Chocolate, because Chocolate's getting on a bit. You're now a ye oldie snake. Um, and then we'll get rid of Lily, maybe. Lily at the top there. So that's three snakes that have gone. There's still way too many. They need a lot more room in there. They need so much room in there. Maybe yeah, if we buy these bits of land again. We can just make those things bigger. Okay, but for now, I think we need to get to the end of the of the week. Not the end of the year, the end of the week. Um, just because, yeah, Sunday is when we pay all the bills and everything. So it makes sense to actually see what money we have to play with. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we've got... Oh, you have an animal in your zoo that you can trade with another zoo. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. First things first, let's get the other pigs in here. So here go... The other pigs. Yay, it's the other pigs. Hello, Riser. Right, so who do we have? We've got Oakley, which is a wonderful name for a pig, and uh, Cameo. <laughs> okay, so Oakley and Cameo. That's all very exciting. They've got the good diet. Um, however, yeah, now it seems that we can trade with... Oh, okay. We can trade a capybara. Is that just a regular capybara? Um... I think, oh no, no, it's that one. It's it's a fancy one. It's a fancy capybara for some badgers. Okay, we love our badgers. Hang on a minute, I've got to read it like they're probably saying it. We love our badgers here in the United Kingdom, even though, no, no, even they do like to knock down fences and get up to mischief. We would love to extend our badger family to your zoo. Basically, you don't want them there because they're causing you problems. That's what you're saying. Okay, so we could get some badgers or over here in Utah Zoo. This porcupine is doing fine. Or at least I think he will be if you can look after him and his mate for us. Ah, okay. 
So that is, that's just a regular pig. That's just a pig that we've had for ages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. What's going on in here? A new snake variant. A new snake variant. Do you know what? Yeah, buy it. Absolutely. Pop that into the snake habitat, which is way too small. But that will be another snake variant. That means we're only three more. That is very good indeed. Um, Yeah, now about the pig. About the pig. I think we can do okay with the pig. But yeah, that capybara is a new one. I think we only have one of those. Yeah, it's you. So we need another one of those. Karma the capybara. We need to possibly... Can we... Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, okay. That's quite good, because if you have another one of you, then we can trade that away. Um, yeah, okay, right. Move time on nice and fast. And that employee has leveled up. Well done, you. You're walking a little bit quicker now. Um, you're level 10, apparently. That seems very good. And let's just pop into here and just make sure that all of the animals have enough food. So 820 monies, yes. Let's stock up on food because that's the kind of thing that I will forget. So there we go. Right, we can run through today fairly quickly, I think. And then we can fly through Saturday and then fly through Sunday as well. And then, yeah, we'll see what money we've got left. We'll buy some stuff up here. So we'll buy some more land. That'll be quite nice. We'll build our kind of centre thing over there and we'll build the two subways. So that will keep, uh, that'll keep this person happy, whoever asked for that. I'll complete that task, which I'll be welcome, because I don't like having all these tasks here. So that'd be quite good if we get rid of those. Um, and that's a big pile of money. Thank you very much. A new animal variant in the shelter. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. Hang on a second. These are all very good. Hang on a second. Um, there's some some tapirs. Ooh. Oh, is that because we've got the forest thing now? Oh, hang on. Right, hang on. We have to get these in. Right, and... Uh, oh, there's, a, there's ducks. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. There, there are new things appearing now. We've got tapirs and ducks, or is it, I assume it's pronounced tapirs. Uh, right, hang on. We need to do some building work. We need to do some building work, really. Because, um, yeah, we kind of want all of these things. I mean, do they change? What if we miss out on the chance to get these things? We miss out on those two tapirs. So I think, hang on. Let's, I know we we're going to save our money, but let's buy that bit of land. Okay, oh, and it just, can we not have it by default being the the nice kind of green flooring? Hang on, let's go make it look not, you know, barren and terrible and like some sort of apocalyptic wasteland. There we go, that's better. Nice and lush and green. Right, and now let's just get this path going all the way through the middle. I think that is a lovely, good thing to have. Oh, it's gone a little bit kind of, it's gone a little bit skew if down the middle. Hang on a second. There we go. I think that's a good thing to have. A nice central path right through the middle so you can walk through the centre of the zoo. I think that is very good indeed. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Let's get the grass back over there. There we go. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? Okay, now I think let's make this a bit bigger. Let's make that a bit bigger. These ones here are going to have to remain relatively small. But, I mean, the pigs don't seem to be breeding that quickly. So maybe the pigs, I don't know, the pigs are going to have to move, aren't they? Because they need a big, they need a big kind of... Uh, a bigger enclosure. Okay, this, however, can be made a bit bigger. So edit enclosure and, uh, yeah, change shape. Okay, so your new enclosure shape must surround all of its existing decorations. Okay, right, so, okay, we just sort of rebuild it again then. Okay, that's fine. So if we make that go up like that and down like that, and then we put the gate over this side, because I think that's where the gate still is, isn't it? So pop the gate there. And there we go. That is much better. It's so much bigger. Okay, that's better. Right, so add some more objects. Because now I think... Let's pop a shelter into the corner over there. That's got to be a good thing. Uh, and then we can have some more enrichment things. We can have ourselves uh, another ball. Possibly just there. And another trampoline. Let's not have a star trampoline. Let's pop a trampoline and a next to the enclosure. Like that. And that means the animals now have a fair amount of stuff to do, which is good. And you know what? That corner looks a bit barren. So let's just put some lovely flowers. How about, how about, um, how about some, I don't know, lavender. Put a bit of lavender over there. There you go. A couple of lavender bits. 
That looks much nicer. That looks much, much better. A little bit more room for the geese to roam. And then very similar with the rabbits over here. So edit that enclosure, uh, change the shape. Okay, so we're starting there. So go down here like that, like that. And then up to, yeah, so up to there. So it's the same sort of dimensions as that one. Um, the gate, the gate was down here, wasn't it? I kind of realised the gate's possibly in the wrong place on the geese one. Okay, so pop that there. Oh, you can see underneath. Look, it's the sandy stuff underneath. No, not, I'm not loving that. I'm, I'm not liking that. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We need to make sure that it's grass underneath. Even if it's not entirely underneath, as long as it's the bits that we can see around the edge because it just looks a bit scruffy. There we go, splendid. Right, so that's that sorted. And yeah, that gate, do you want to move that gate down? Maybe we move the gate to the side, down here possibly. Uh, do you know what, it's fine for now. It's fine for now, it's not really that big a deal. Okay, so add objects. We'll put a shelter into this one as well. Tuck that into that corner. And then we shall add ourselves another trampoline. Very similar layout to that thing there. And then we'll add a ball as well. Yay! Right, okay. So they now have a little bit more, a little bit more room to, to roam, which is all very good. Okay, and now I think let's get ourselves a little kind of, maybe we'll have another kind of refreshment area over here. Not as big as this one. This is the main one. We'll have a big one, uh, not big one, a moderately sized one over here and one over here. And then we can get ourselves like a subway here, a subway down here, and a subway over there. So people can, you know, sort of get between these places nice and quick. Um, and then over here, I think, let's get in a new forest enclosure. Let's make this a bit foresty. Now, if I was if I was good at this, and if I was good at planning and thinking ahead, I'd have different zones and regions and things. So you'd have kind of the main area where you've got all your kind of grass enclosures. And then you'd go into desert world and the path would change and it'd be desert and there'd be desert rocks and desert decor. I, I can't do that. My brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> I can't do that. So we're just going to kind of have it all mixed together. It's going to be beautiful and it's eclectic kind of appearance. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We also do have a great big kind of gap just here. There is a big old gap right there. We could put some more animals in there. Do you know what? We've got room. We could put a great big enclosure in there. Maybe the pigs. Maybe the pigs could go in there, possibly. I don't know. Or do we put the forest enclosure here and just have... Yeah, look, if we're saying about sort of eclectic mix of things, there's desert, there's savannah, there's grass, then we can have a forest one. Do you know what? Let's do that. Absolutely. Let's do this. Forest enclosure going in. I know the door can go just there. That'll do. Right. Okay, let's sort this out then. So add some objects. Um, water basins. Ah, right, okay, so one up there and one in that corner. So a couple, because that makes sense. And then we shall add some objects. Let's pop a shelter kind of down into... I don't think they rotate, do they? Um, we'll put the shelter... How do they get in? I want to rotate it around. I think we can rotate it. That's unfortunate. We'll put the shelter just there, like that. And then we'll get some objects. Let's get some enrichmenty things. So we'll have a trampoline... A lovely trampoline in that corner and a regular trampoline um, in the middle over there. And then we just have one ball for now, just a red ball right in the middle. And then let's get kind of the water deco stuff yet, can we? No, we haven't unlocked that yet, unfortunately. Um, and then we'll have ourselves a rock. Let's have a medium rock uh, over in that corner because that looks nice, maybe. And then we'll get, I don't know, some magnolias or something. So pop a magnolia thing just there and some lilacs next to that. There we go. Wonderful. Do you find those in a forest? I don't really know. Okay, and now I think that means that we can go to either... We could go to here. No, that's that's a deserty thing. Hang on, it was for this, wasn't it? It was for these tapirs. Yeah, okay. Rescue both of you and you can both come here and that should be amazing. Yeah. In there, please. Splendid. Okay. So in one day's time, we're going to have some more animals coming in. And we've made use of that space. The zoo is not enriching these animals with activities. Okay. That is a bit of a problem. Yeah, they're not really enjoying the enrichment opportunities that are being offered to the animals. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. But there we go. That is now in, which is all pretty good. They've got a bit more room. The pigs do need some more space. 
But yeah, we need to get to the end of today now, I think. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, here comes the new snake. Wonderful stuff. Hello, who are you? Gizmo. Oh, that's just adorable. Hello, Gizmo the snake. How are you? That's all very nice. Um, okay, so now let's go back down to here. How are we doing with this? Right, okay. They are the geese, I think. Return those. Return those and pick the breeding pair of geese. Okay, there's a new combination there. And that will get us... Is that the final type? No, no, that's the final type done there. Okay, right, so those geese there, yes. Confirm that, please. They can get on with that. That's wonderful. And, okay, there's going to be... Oh, hang on. Pregnancy progress. Okay, so they've written a letter to the stork, and we get to find out if it's this mysterious rabbit here that we've not been able to kind of uncover quite yet. That'd be very good. If we could get this one here, 26% chance of getting that type of rabbit. Come on, come on. Be, be good to us, game. Be kind to us. Let's see it. And no, it's one of those ones there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Do you know what? It's wonderful. There's a baby animal and that's all very adorable. Okay, here we go. End of the week. And look at that. Look at our utilities money right there. We earned $1,000 from generating enough power, and we earned a thousand dollars from generating enough water. That came from one water tower. That is very good. And um, yeah, we've collected a lot of a lot of the kind of methane stuff. But yeah, bus gas savings is not applicable right now because we haven't sort of learned the tech to actually get that done. And we pay about two and a half grand in wages. But yeah, income twenty grand. That's that's wonderful. That is very good to see. Okay, right. There we go. Now let's just do some, uh, let's, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, okay. These are the CRISPR people. They want us to, uh, they want us to pick another thing that they want to splice together. A snake and a pig or a capybara and a pig. I mean, a snake and a pig sounds immediately more appealing to me. Yes, please. <laughs> let's go for a snake pig hybrid. I don't know what that's going to be called. That's going to be fascinating. And 23 research points. That is an awful lot of research points. Oh no, now I've got to make a decision here. I've got to make decisions about things. I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, do we try and unlock what that mysterious thing might be just there? I think that looks like a good thing that we might want to have. But there's all these other things. There's a popcorn store and an Arctic enclosure and an ice cream van and leaf piles. I mean, that's for enrichment. That could be quite good. That's also quite good. Hang on. We can get the lamppost and that enrichment thing there. Yeah, I think let's do that, shall we? Let's have the high striker thing and we'll pop those into the enclosures. So we'll unlock that. So that gives us some special decorative stuff and some statues and some signs. And then down here, lamppost pack. What's that there? Farming. Employ farmers to grow crops in your zoo. Oh, we can turn it into a farm. And we can have a mountain enclosure now. Oh, this is very good. And we're so nearly there with the release hub. We're so nearly at 40 morality. Give us another tricky decision to make game. And we'll choose the nice sort of morally, you know, morally strong one. And then that means we can actually get this release hub thing done. Okay. Okay. This is all very good. I mean, I'd quite like to get a vet. There's so many things I'd like to get in. Um, okay. The zoo has been granted a license to increase its operational hours. Terence, a tourist, explained, I can open up my schedule more and visit the zoo whenever I want to. <gasps> oh, okay. The longer open hours would be a delight for some, but maybe a bane for others. An employee of the zoo who wished to remain anonymous explained his concerns. The hours may have gone up, but I don't think my salary will. The zoo will have more customers and make more money, but the expenses will stay the same. Okay, also we do have a... There was lighting, wasn't there? Maybe. We've got five grand. Maybe we spend a little bit of money on lighting because I think, hang on, uh, heat maps, uh, lighting. Okay. Yeah. So down here is good. That's good. That's terrible. There's no lights over here. <laughs> so if we open later, it's going to be awful. Okay. Okay. So we might put some more lights in. How do we control our, uh, the hours that were open is it in there? Um, I don't know. Uh, it closes at six. Oh, it closes at six. It closed at five before I think. So, okay, now closes at six o'clock. So we've got an extra hour at the end of the day. Okay, right. Let's get some lighting in, shall we? Now, we should actually have some fancy lamps because we just got some. So, I mean, yeah, a ball lamp. Um, 
I quite like the ornate lamps more than the ball ones. So let's pop one of them there and one across that side. We do need some across here. Let's put that lamp on that corner there. And then we'll put some down here as well, because we probably do need to you know, light the way for our staff. So, um, yeah, is there a gap somewhere around here? No, I don't think there is. Oh, dear. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Put a light behind that vending machine, because that's okay. That will that light the way. That's sort of handy. And then we'll put another one there. So there we go. And then I think possibly... Oh, we can't put one next. That'll block access to the water thingamajig. Um, I think as well, possibly down here, can we put a nice sort of comfy looking wooden bench just there? And then can we have ourselves a bin? Where are the bins? Yay for the penguin bin. Just pop a penguin bin there because there's no kind of bins around this part and no seats. So there we go. Right. So now what's the um, what is the lighting like over there now? It's good. 20 percent. We put loads of lights in. <laughs> Crikey's. Okay. Okay. It's good over there. Okay. So it, it's adequate apart from up here. There's nothing up here for people to go to. Okay. Right. We have five grand. I think now, uh, how long is it going to be until, oh, hang on. These things are inbound. These things are inbound. Let's get some tapirs. I think that's how you pronounce them. Hello. And I think they're two different types as well. So we've got, yeah, Bonnie and hang on, Bonnie and Samson. Hello, Bonnie and Samson. Okay, now, very important. Um, seeing an animal die is the saddest thing ever. Oh, no, has one of the animals died? Oh, that's all very sad. Hang on, who's died? Death. There are no new deaths. Okay, that person's just being morbid then. <laughs> okay, uh, right. Okay, you carry on being morbid. Um, yeah, down here, let's go into the storeroom. And uh, yeah, we want to make sure that where are the tape is have some proper food because they've got this kind of rubbish food at the minute so yeah let's bring that down straw it's fine it's fine it's filling but it's not very nutritious so bring that down to like 55 let's put 10 percent in each of these so 10 in that and 10 in bananas and 10 in berries and our berries seem to be the good stuff that's where the nutrition is so let's get that up to 20 and get the bananas up to 15 then some plants up a little bit 15 Plants up to 20, now they're overfed. So bring the straw back down to say, I don't know, 35, and then more berries. A bit more berries. We can't get much more nutrition out of those. More bananas. Oh, the bananas are topping it up quite nicely. And then some more plants. There we go. That's a good balance. Yeah, okay. And they're satisfied. So that's okay. Is that what we get? Yeah, satisfied is okay. Right, splendid. Yeah, do that, please. And then, yeah, let's order all of the food. $971. Ouch. That was a big, big order, but okay. Important to have. Very important. And now, yeah, let's work on getting the subway things in. Let's get these in. You are going to have to move things around a little bit. But yeah, over here, I think we do need an area where we can have like a restroom and various other bits and bobs. So let's get that in, shall we? So firstly, let's just put lovely planks down. Oh, the, oh that's going to be weird all the way over. I think that there can all be planks and we just sort of build on these. So I think we now need to get a restroom and that's okay. We'll tuck that right in the corner. That's absolutely fine. So put that in there. And then I think we do need a drink shop because people are very thirsty. So if we put, um, have I put a drink shop there and we'll hire a person. We'll give you a bit more money to make you a bit happier. So marry, there you go. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is go to here, have ourselves a wonderful penguin bin, and then up here we can put a light. We can drop a ball lamp right behind there. There we go. Do you know what? Let's have two. Let's make it nice and bright over there. Okay, so that's looking good. And then we need to put a subway thing in. But also, yeah, I want to get some seats along here. But first things first, how do these work then? We've got a subway or a red subway. Okay. Or do we wait and get, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where were the, where were these things? Um, it was 12 research points to unlock. But yeah, that's quite exciting. I think that could be quite good, getting an animal themed subway pack. Because, you know, we're in a zoo. It makes sense to get lots of animal themed things. I mean, do we wait for the 12 points? Maybe we do. That won't take that long. 
They will have done that in no time at all. They'll get there. That'll be nice and simple for them. Come on, scientist people, do sciencey stuff. And in the meantime, while they are doing sciencey stuff, we can add those, whatever it was, that random new enrichment thing that we got. What was it? A high striker. It's a, oh, it's like a, oh, okay. It's like a thing that you kind of hit and then it goes ding and goes away to the top. Would geese like that? Okay, I don't know. Let's put one of those in there. We'll drop one into each of the enclosures because people are saying they're looking a bit bored. So we'll we'll pop these into each enclosure <laughs> and we'll just see how they get on. Uh, we'll pop that in that one. Now you can guys can have one across the top there. You can have that in that corner. I mean, this is good. This is good for the animals. You know, it's another thing for them to do. The snakes can have one there and you guys can have one right in that corner at the top. Okay, that's a bit weird, but okay, that's a, it's an odd, uh, hang on, come out of that. It's an odd sort of thing. But yeah, how are they looking now in terms of enrichment? Yeah, that's looking okay now because they've got more stuff to play with. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. How are you guys settling in? Are you having fun? You look okay. It all looks fine. These people are thirsty. There is literally a drink shop right here and there are drinks machines down here. <laughs> Just go down here and get yourself a lovely, lovely drink. Lots of buses coming in. Um, Yeah, okay, right. Let's move time on until we have enough research points to unlock the fancy new sort of subway types. And then we'll buy some of those. We'll put one there. We'll put one possibly over here somewhere. And then we'll try and see where we can fit one in down here. We might have to maybe move something. Maybe the pretzel shop could get picked up and lifted and put over there maybe. Or we can have a subway in there. It depends how big they are. But right, let's wait for the research points to come in first. They're almost there. Look, our science people are very, very brainy. I've just realized that maybe nobody is feeding our new tapir arrivals because yeah, we've not actually specified a person to go and deal with them. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on, staff. Is it Sean that deals with those ones? Um, Sean, hang on, zone. I think it is. Yeah, you can now deal with them as well. You've got a new thing to deal with. You've got some uh, some tapirs down here, please. If you could do that, that would be wonderful. And let's give you a bonus. Let's give you, I don't know, $67, $67 bonus. There you go. There you go. Don't say I don't spoil you. And we now have 12 research points as well. This is going very nicely. Right, okay, so let's get ourselves an animal-themed subway pack that unlocks... Uh, Arctic plants. Okay, that's exciting. We now have no research points at all. But yeah, now, pause time for a second. Here we go. Now we can look at the subway stuff. So those are the original ones. Now we have one with kind of animals on the roof, which is a little bit like our kind of zoo entry archway thing. I think that would be quite nice. Or one that looks like a kind of a, a bear, like a bear's ears or something, like an animal's ears. I do like this one. I think that would fit quite nicely with the kind of the theme we have on the archway. So how does this work then? So rock subway. So it allows the staff and visitors to quickly get from one place to another. They are 2000 each. Okay, so on its own, I imagine this is going to do very, very little. So let's just pop that down like that. Okay, so now we've got one of those in and it's just gonna sit there and do nothing. So I think, yeah, we need to get one of those in down here, but I think it could go in over here. So I think, yeah, maybe, maybe let's pick this up let us move the pretzel shop. So people are gonna to have to come all the way up here for pretzels. And that's good, because that means they can have a look at what's over here. In fact, you know what? Let's put that at the top. Let's have a little kind of financially commercy area up the top there. Um, so yeah, if we took that into, hang on, let's leave room for an actual restroom. So if we put that like that, and then we get ourselves another subway thing, Pop that up next to that. We've got to put the floor in the stuff, but that's fine. So another subway there. That completes that goal, which is nice. And then we can fit that in. If we rotate that round, another subway in like that. Okay, so we have just spent six grand, which is very, very expensive. But we now at least have this. We've completed that task, finished the task. We get two grand. So one of those was free, effectively. That is not bad at all. Right, now let's see how they work. So are people just going to start running into these things? Like, how does it work? Is anybody going to use these? I don't know. Nobody seems to be using them right now. People are going, oh, there we go, there we go. People going into the subway. I don't know where they're coming out of the subway. Right, there are people going up here. Oh, there's loads of people. Oh, this is, that is beautiful. <laughs> Look at those loads of people. 
There's loads of people. Okay, welcome everybody to this slightly desolate part of the thing, uh, the zoo. Right, hang on a second, hang on. Um, we will, we'll sort this out. Look, we'll make this bit worth visiting now. We'll sort this out. It, it's not completely pointless. So um, yeah, let's make this a little kind of area, again, where there's some wonderful merchandising opportunities, but also a place where you can nip to the loo if you need to. So let's pop that there. There we go. Right, so we've got some toilets. And I think as well, we're going to need oh, a bit of lighting, possibly triple lamps. That's very extravagant. Right, triple lamps just there. And then how about a penguin bin and a penguin bin on each side? There we go. And then we'll put some... Yeah, do we want to have this whole bit here is like a nice big... Maybe we'll have like a parade of, of shops on the left and the right. We'll have various sort of shops. And then we just have a walkway down the middle. That might be quite good. That might fit quite nicely. We've got the money for it, certainly. Do you know what? Let's do that. So let's... Do you know, we'll put the shops in first. Hang on a second. Right, so shops. Um, let's have... Uh, let's have a pizza shop. So rotate that around here. We'll sort of back them onto here. So the pizza shop can go... Uh, I mean, yeah, do we want to have some seats and stuff? I kind of feel like we need some seats in that area as well. Hang on. Hang on. Benches. Uh, wooden benches. Let's just get a little sort of selection of seats along here. So we'll have so you come out the um come out the subway and if you want to, you can have a little sit down. So there we go, some seats like that, and we'll back those on. So there you go, you can have a rest. That's quite nice. And then maybe can we put some some decor around? Some lovely decor. I mean, how about a couple of mini fountains? at either end to make it look super fancy and then do you know what how about some lights in fact we could have put some lights there couldn't we okay right hang on a minute we'll move these <laughs> we're very good at moving these around move them out of the way for now uh we'll sort of alternate that and i want the uh okay can you move out the way please there we go thank you uh move that to there for now Wonderful. I didn't mean to press that button. Right. Decoration down, but decoration going back up. Don't worry, everybody. Don't worry. It's a, a temporary kind of renovations. Right. There we go. So some lighting going in as well to make people feel like that's a little bit brighter. And then, yeah, let's get some shops in now. So people can go and have a little sit down and look at the fountains and enjoy the lighting. And then, uh, yeah, shops. So let's get a pizza shop. Rotate that round. So, of course, that's too close. That's too close. We kind of want that just... Yeah, there's a gap, isn't there? Yeah, so there's a nice gap where people can walk around. And I don't think they need loads of space. People just walk all over each other. So it's not like, yeah, they're sort of going to be clamouring for space or anything. So that's too close. So yeah, we'll put the pizza shop there and we'll make sure that we pay you some good money. There you go. And we'll have a hot dog shop next to the pizza shop. So again, that's got to go just there. So there we go. Give you some more money. Very nice. Right, and then... We'll put a slushy shop opposite. So that's directly opposite that. And that can go there. And then we'll put like a row of nice nature things down there. Okay, Bernardo, you can earn all the monies. Uh, and then what can we put? A gift stand. We need those because they're important. So yeah, we'll drop that in like that. Very nice. Up to 90 for the shopkeepers. Uh, and then we've got... Yeah, the pretzel shop's at the top, isn't it? So there we go. That'll do for now. So another nice little sort of commerce area. And yeah, we'll fill all that in like so. There is a bit down the bottom here now, which is going to be pointless to put like an enclosure in, I would say. So I don't think that's going to really fit much in the way of an enclosure. Um, so how about down the back here, we just have... We could just break that back out into sort of nature or whatever. Hang on, where's... Can we do it like that? And we could just put some nice plants and things over there. That might look quite nice. Nature. Here we go. Let's get some trees. Trees are good. Um, or do we have some little planter type things? Just put some of them along there with some lighting, possibly. That might be quite nice. Hang on. What other planted things do we have? Um, round, planty type things. Thorny shrubs, viney trees, bushes. Oh, there's so much choice. Um... Okay, St. John's Wort. That sort of could be pretty. Or do we just go for a classic planter? There are only two, though. 
They're two dollars. They're not going to get our park rating quite as so much. Also, we have hardly any money left. <laughs> Who'd have thought it after this massive building project? Um, yeah, let's go for St. John's Wart. We'll put one of those there. Um, oh, no, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, there you go. It took it away. That's good. I was going to say we should put them at the end, really. Uh, put them in the middle and then have um, lights at the end. So we'll have that like that. And then have triple lamp there and there. And then... Of course, the obligatory penguin bin can go just there. Okay, that looks good. I think that looks nice. Yes, that is working very well indeed. You know what? We should put a bit of grass under those, I think. Do we put grass under those? No, I think that's fine. I like that. I think that looks nice. We could put something down the middle. <gasps> we could put those fountain things down the middle. Yes. Okay, that is, yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Wonderful. Like that. Okay, so now are people going to start coming up here and enjoying some drinks and a place to sit down and somewhere to eat? They're getting pretzels. People are coming in. They're running around. Look, they're going into the shops. Okay, right. That's wonderful. That's working very nicely. This is working nicely. The money is pouring in already. We're back up to 1,342. And um, there you go. We spent quite a lot of money. We spent an awful lot of money, but okay. That's kind of what we expect. Okay. So the animal shelter manager thanks for the generous donation earlier. Oh my word. <laughs> we purchased a climbing frame for the monkeys and invested in more employees around the world to help us find animals in need of our help. Sadly, my job seems to be as much about fundraising as it is about looking after animals. If you ever want to donate again, we would be overjoyed. Donate $8,000. Crikeys. Okay, that takes us a while to get there. We won't pin that, I don't think. I think that might be quite tricky. Okay. And Andrew the Goth. Hello, Andrew the Goth. Oh, you, you're the one, you're the guy who wanted the, um, the things, the subways, because you don't like the light. Okay. <laughs> um, I am the Dark Lord Gilgaroth. No, no, you are Andrew. And I come here to look at only your most evil animals. Wait, you don't have bats? Okay, then snakes. I want you to get a black snake. Get one black snake. Okay, we shall try our best. Um, artistic or common sense? Commission a fake animal. Okay, ah, yes, the peafowl thing. Nope, absolutely not. We're not going to do that at all. Away with you. However, our morality is now over 40. I think that means we can get, if we've, un, you know, if we've researched it, we can release an animal through the release hub. Hang on, we've also completed another task down here. Um, we earned five grand in a day, did we? Goodness. Okay, maybe that was helped through other kind of tasks being completed. I think that's okay. We get one and a half grand for that. Thank you so much. That is, uh, that's very welcome. That's very, very welcome indeed. Oh, yeah, the genome thing. Come on, how are we doing with all these things? Hang on, how are we doing here? The CRISPR thing is slowly but surely working. Um, how are we doing for the pigs? Oh, there's, hang on, there's there's three pigs. There's Midnight, there's Big Boy, and there's Rin Tin Tin. The pigs have the best names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where did you come from, Rin Tin Tin? Okay, I mean, maybe we could trade Rin Tin Tin for... No, it wasn't you guys, it was you guys. Rin Tin Tin for the porcupines to go into a desert habitat. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Maybe we should buy this bit of land. How expensive is the land now? Five grand now. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's steep. That's a steep price to pay for some land. Okay, maybe not right now. Maybe we'll get the um, we'll get those animals in up here. We'll get a lovely, nice desert enclosure. I kind of feel like it should go over here. Do we save five grand? Buy that bit there and put another desert enclosure there and make the snake thing a bit bigger. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll save the money. It's only Wednesday. It's fine. I've got loads of time left to earn a great big pile of cash. Okay, so our welfare report has come back from the wonderfully named Ron Hawk. I do like your name, Ron Hawk. I kind of feel like you should be some sort of, you know, like a gritty 1950s New York private eye kind of person. You sound like one of them. You know, Ron Hawk is on the case. But no, you're a kind of an animal welfare inspector. But we got to be. So it says, yeah, some enclosures have animal waste that needs cleaning. Okay, but they've got water and they're fed. The enclosures are just perhaps a little bit kind of grubby. Okay, right, we'll try and work on that. So what do we want to have? Mascots will receive 110% donations for the next 20 days. We don't have mascots. 
Can we hire a mascot? I, I don't know if we can hire a mascot. Or we can receive a reward of 347 monies. I mean, given that we don't know how to get mascots right now, maybe it's a thing that we need to unlock or whatever. Yeah, let's go for the reward. Let's take a little bit of money, because that's fine. That's okay. I mean, is it park staff? Is it park staff? Can we sort of hire a person? Yeah, mascots are locked. Yeah, that must be a must be a sort of a sciencey thing that we need to uncover. Okay, that's fine. I notice we do have five grand. However, hang on a second, hang on. First things first, priorities. Uh, food. Let's spend only 520 money on the food. Okay, that's not so bad. Our morality has gone back down a bit. That's unfortunate. Um, but there we go. We're back over five grand. So let's buy that bit of land. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> And it's, it's terrible, awful, wasteland brown again. Okay, right, hang on a second. Grass, here we go. There we go, that's much better. Right, and let's just get these kind of bits connected up. So yeah, we have a bit over here. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is let's just link that together like that. So we'll bring that in like that. That's gone a little bit one clothes. Hang on a second, just bring that in like that. There we go, and then let's make that grass again. That looks far nicer. Okay. Right, so that's now connected up, which is all very good. So I think what we do is let's make this a bit bigger. So editing, closure, change the shape. Right, hang on a second, everybody. We just, oh, no, 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 that's no, 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 no. There we go. That's better. Right, so like up to, oh, do we just make it massive? No, because we want to get another enclosure above it, don't we? So let's not make it too massive. It can just be a little bit bigger. So there we go. Ah. Where, where was the gate? The gate was there, wasn't it? So we'll pop the gate just there. There we go. So the snakes now have a little bit more room. It's undone the stuff underneath the game. Why must you torture me with your boring default ground type? <laughs> Make it green and nice. There we go. Right. So now that's properly sort of, yeah, it's got the proper nice ground underneath it. And the snakes have a little bit more room. Now I would like to, if we can, add a shelter. Pop that into the corner. And then can we add... Anything else for the snakes? Or are they okay? Enrichment is absolutely fine. So yeah, that's not a problem. Food supplies, yeah, they'll get on that. I assume because we just resized it, the um, it, it kind of you know, needs to be restocked with food or whatever. Okay, that's wonderful. So now, hang on a second, hang on. So what are we getting again? We're getting porcupines who need a desert habitat. Okay, so let's get one of those in. So desert, there's a bit of a gap on that side now. What do we do with that there? Um, I'm not entirely sure what we can do with that. Maybe, can we have a number of habitats along this bit? Because we have got a bit coming down behind this. So a habitat could go here, I suppose. It could be sort of thin and then it could kind of come down here and you could have a path. And if we move that seat, that would connect that up very nicely indeed. Okay, right, that's fine. So this one here, I think, um, we'll just make it, yeah, this can just be, classic and a, a bit boring if we're being honest but there we go so finish that we can't afford it oh no okay no you're absolutely right game no we can't afford that hang on <laughs> let's move time on a little bit yeah we, we spent quite a lot of money then um yeah okay right can we get some more money in please yeah that's wonderful thanks a new task from potter ah, you're the photography person um i'm noticing that's been a sharp increase of animals since the last time i visited this is pretty amazing, but I really have to be a winner at life. And that means having more wild animal photos than anyone in my Chasebook Animal Spotters group. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's a good ambition. Being number one on social media is more important to me than being number one at anything in real life. <laughs> okay, I'm sure there's a statement being made there. Um, okay, right. So pin the quest, get 100 animals and no. And um, yeah, this crazy person saying, hey, do you want to go and have some robotic animals? No, we do not. And, ah another snake hang on a second hang on how many snake variants do we have now that would mean we've only got two left if we go and grab that snake um hang on hang on hang on hang on what's this these are all new these are are they the final three snake variants they can't be they can't be the final three hang on how many more do we need is it three? One, two, and three it says new on all of those uh, <laughs> and there's a new type of goose. Oh, that's the one. These are all new things. <gasps> this is amazing. Okay, hang on. Rescue the snake. That's a black snake. So I'll keep Chappie happy. We wanted a black snake. And we'll have that one. Uh, okay. You can all go into snake town. 
Right. Well, that means we've completed that adventure. When they arrive, that's all very exciting. And then, what else is there? A goose and a hyena. Hang on. Hang on. Are you hyenas? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's get... We might as well just have all of those. Okay, yeah. We'll buy the hyena. Thank you. Come out of that. The hyena can go into there. That enclosure might need to be made a little bit bigger because apparently the space is not great. So do you know what? This is fine. Let's edit the shape. Uh, and we'll keep it pretty much exactly like that. But we'll just make it go up. Um, it could go all the way up there, I suppose. No, we'll have it kind of coming to about there. Just a tiny bit more room. Why not? And the door was there. Okay, so we'll keep the door where it was. And um, yeah, we'll just move... Uh, how do we move things about? A few objects. Can we move... How do we move those things? Add objects. Click that. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. How do we how do we pick these up? Or just shifty them up a bit, if that's possible. Can we now pick that up? Ah, there you go. Yeah, so move that. And then we want to... That's a bit fiddly, isn't it? The water can be moved up there. And then that crazy big hitty thing, <laughs> whatever that is. Oh, crikey. Hang on. Enrichment. That... Hmm... Okay, okay, well, I can't I can't click on that thing. <laughs> I want just that can stay there. It's wonderful right there. Isn't that brilliantly positioned right there? It looks really, really good. Okay, right, so I'm happy with that. Space is still not entirely brilliant, but it's better than it was. Um Okay, so that's good. Um so yeah, now we've got an extra hyena coming in. And oh hang on a second. <laughs> Game, you are tormenting me now. You're just being mean. Green, nice. Proper edges to this. I don't want to see your barren wasteland tile underneath, thanks. There we go. Let's pop that up there. Right, and then we had ourselves, I think, is it the final type of goose? Is that all there is? There's two. There's two types left. And we can get one more right now from the animal shelter. Yes, please. We shall house a goose in there. Thank you so much. Okay, now we have hardly any money again because we've just done loads of stuff. But this is fine. That comes in nice and quick. And we've got 15 research points, which I think means, is it time to get the release hub? Reintroducing animals into the wild. Okay, this is very good. So yeah, we've got 40 morality points now. So I think we'll unlock that. That's going to be really expensive. A rock pack, large rocks. Well, isn't that exciting? Okay, never mind. Um, okay, okay. So now... How do we go about doing that? Some of the animals look hungry. Come on, folks. You've got animal keepers. Sort sort this out, please, animal keeping people. Um, yeah, where would that be? Where would we look for the thing that we just unlocked? Whereabouts would, uh, whereabouts would the eco sort of release hub thing be? Okay, I'm not entirely sure where it is. I can't seem to see it anywhere on any of our lists. However, I did realise we've not put any of the wonderful new signs down. Look at all these. There's like a snake post. I kind of feel like we have to put one of those down near where the snakes might be. Because that's just very exciting. Look at that. We'll put one of those in there. And let's put another one maybe over here somewhere. Can we just pop that? Oh, maybe not the back because that's going to get in the way. We'll put that there, look. And I can say, hey, over that way there are snakes. But, um, B, I'm not entirely sure where some of the other things are. There's quite a nice sign there. That is very big. It's a very, very big sign. Um... Yeah, I don't know where it is. I don't know where the release hub is. So I'm not entirely sure how we go about doing this. I'd love to release an animal into the wild, but I don't know how, I'm afraid. Can you can you give me a hint? Is there a thing that we need to do? Ooh, what's that about? Hunger. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. The pigs are very hungry. Who feeds these animals? I don't know. We're supposed to have zookeepers who do this kind of stuff. They seem to be slacking. Are you putting... Oh, there you go. There you go. They've got their food. It was just a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a delay there. Perhaps you could do things a bit quicker. Maybe. Maybe we get another zookeeper. Just have them looking after two things each, possibly. Some animals are not getting enough food. Yeah, it's not good enough, is it? Build more decorations. A visitor has left your zoo due to it not being attractive enough. Try to keep your deco rating as high as possible in all sectors of the zoo. Not only does this make visitors happier, it also makes more people want to come to the zoo. Okay, hang on a minute. So, animals... We don't get much from that. Attractiveness is... is quite good, I thought. Facilities are okay. Publicity is okay. Um, yeah, I thought... 
I thought that was, I thought attractiveness was pretty good. But no, okay, hang on, hang on. Is there a heat map for decoration? Um, I mean, maybe it's that bit, but I've only, I've only just bought that bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is rubbish, but it's not finished. Clearly it's not finished. It's just got a path in it right now. Don't judge the zoo on that one thing there. <laughs> that would be silly. Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure how we do the release hub thing, although our morality has dropped back below the amount required again, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we'd go about doing that. I think what we'll do is let's get through to tomorrow. Let's just make sure that we can get through to tomorrow. Hang on a minute. Let's order the food. Let's make sure the food is coming in. Ah, oh, it's a, a mere pittance. Um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the animals and their food because they are, these animals are hungry and I think they should be having some food very soon, please. <laughs> Why are you not feeding the rabbits? This is going to end badly, zookeeping people. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of very hungry rabbits there. Um, okay, stop hurting monkeys. Hang on, what? Did you know that animal testing is everywhere? From monkeys to pigs, there are around 150 million animals killed in animal tests every year. Anyway, if you let us, we'll round up a few human visitors from your zoo and take them away for experimentation instead. Save an animal, experiment on a human. Easy choice, right? Um, mm, Paul W, I, I, I don't think you've quite understood how this is supposed to work. I, I don't want you to test animals, but I don't want you to test on people either. I think that's bad. I'd rather you didn't kidnap some of our zoo visitors and experiment on them, because that doesn't sound overly nice, I'm afraid, Paul W. So uh, I'm going to reject your offer. Thank you so much indeed. I am very, very concerned about the rabbits. Why are the rabbits not being fed? Where are you going? Are you going to feed the rabbits? Because you had better be. You're going to pen number one. Ah, yeah, I think that is where the rabbits are. Please give them some food. Please give them some food. A big pile of food. Okay, right. The rabbits have food. Thank goodness. Okay, right. In come a, a fleet of helicopters. <laughs> Shriek, said one of the snakes. Okay, so in they come. Don't crash, please. As we drop something off, we've discovered all the snake variants. Congratulations on mapping the snake genome. You can now splice all of its variants in the CRISPR splicer. Okay, right, so that is complete. So, Manuel, we've done it. We've got the whole sort of snake realm unlocked to us. It's all very exciting. Um, oh, okay, that uh, that's slightly underwhelming. Just get a nice pat on the back and a well done. Um, okay, right, and then we also have a black snake now. So there you go, Andrew the Goth. $700 he was giving us for that. Good grief. You've got a lot of money, Andrew the Goth. Okay, there we go. Right, so what else do we actually need to do? Hang on a second. Task-wise now. I mean, we could work on buses. We could work on getting some more people into the, into the zoo. Because we can buy some more buses now. I think our animals are looking okay. Possibly. I do think we need maybe another zookeeper. Another zookeeper might be quite a good thing. And we do need to think about trading away one of our pigs to get whatever it was, the porcupines. I think they're going to go up there somewhere. Oh, no, they're, were they going to go over here? I can't remember. They were going to go somewhere. I forget where they were going to go. But yeah, maybe, maybe getting some more buses in would not be a bad thing. And our morality is nice and high again. Hang on. Has that now unlocked the, the whatever it is, the release hub thing? Now that Amaratu has gone high enough, can we find it in the list of things now? There it is. It's right there. Yeah, so when I was looking, Amorality must have dropped below 40. Okay, right. Let's get the release hub in. How expensive is it? It's only 500 of the monies. Okay. Oh, it's quite big. Oh, crack. It's a huge, great big thing. Um. Okay. Do you know what? Let's make a feature of it up here, possibly. Let's maybe, I think, hang on. So we've got a space... Hang on, so that'd be right up in the corner. So if we move it along one and down one, that means that we can surround that by lots of trees and plants and lovely decorative decorative things. Right, so put that in, right, and then around the back, let's get a load of those big trees. I like these summer pines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then we just put them all the way down the side because this looks nice. Look at this. This is this is nature. This is nature right here. Um, yep, sort of keep that coming down like that. And then maybe, 
maybe we'll have a different kind of path going up to this. So maybe we'll have... I don't... Do we have... Well, we can't have grass going up to it because there's grass all around it. Um, okay, no, we won't have a different kind of path. I was kind of thinking maybe we could have something slightly different. But there we go. And then around the edge here, we'll line this with lovely plants. How about some, I don't know, lilacs sort of there. And then, I don't know, some... Oh, they've got chrysanthemums there anyway. Well, well there you go. That'll keep it consistent. That's quite nice. And then, I don't know, around the edge, maybe we could put like a bench there. We'll put our light and a, and a bin on that corner. Might be quite nice. So, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves. Uh, we'll put a light kind of up there and a light down there. And then we've got space over there for a couple of things. What can we put in there? We'll put some plants into that gap. Let's have, oh, I don't know, some St. John's wort because that seems nice. And then, yeah, we'll get a bin. Because bins are important. Cleanliness is important. But I can't find where they are. Right, so penguin bin on that corner. And there's a gap there. What do we put there? What can live just there? Um, is there anything suitably obvious? I don't want to put like a vending machine in. Outside of the eco centre sort of place. How about just, I don't know, another planty thing. Um, what else have we got that's in a plant? Uh, a plant. Okay, yeah, there you go. Little plant. Very nice. Okay. How does this work then? Animal conservation. Okay, conservation. So what do we do here? Rabbit, population count, 100k plus. So, right, so they're not so bothered about rabbits being released into the wild. They're not that bothered. Hyenas, however, they're near threatened. So if we can release a hyena into the wild, is that a good thing? Tapirs extinct in the wild. Oh, really? Oh, that's awful news. Oh, that's really sad. Um, and snakes, at least concern. However, let's just do one of these. I'm sure we have many, many snakes. So let's pick... Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. We've probably got even more rabbits. Let's... Yeah, do you know what? Aggie. Aggie the rabbit. You can go into the wild. There you go. You can go. We'll just see how this works. So let's press release. What's our morality? 40.23. Release you. 41.23. We've just released a rabbit into the wild. Today, our local zoo was at the centre of everyone's hearts, of course they were, uh, when they released an animal back into the wild for the first time. In what is said to be the first of many such acts, one zookeeper released this statement. While it's wonderful that people can come to the zoo and look at our animals, it's even better to see these magnificent creatures returning to their natural habitats. We hope that through a combination of breeding programmes and careful study, we can bring some species back from the brink of extinction, he added. Oh, this, that's very nice. Oh, I like that. And we've completed this goal as well for Mr. Attenborough, possibly. Oh, okay. That that was a lot of effort to get that done. But thanks for the 100 monies. I mean, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't be ungrateful. Thank you very much. And look, we've got lots of lovely trees now. And they can generate things that can, you know, counter CO2 and such like, which is good. Uh, okay, can we get the fancy bus? Thinking about buying some more buses. That's 15 points. 15 points. Great churros. Oh, there's so many exciting things that I would like to unlock. Um, okay, okay, right. I think let's get to the end of today. I've not even looked over in here. How are these things doing? That needs four days. And over here, we've got... Ah, right, okay. So there's no point those two doing anything anymore because... Uh, Yep, the father is infertile, so that yeah, he can't he can't write letters to the stork anymore. And you two are you two are okay. You two are okay. I'm very glad we got all of the um the snakes. I'm glad we got at least those done. I mean it was very fortunate they were all in the kind of animal shelter thing. That did help out quite a bit. But do you know what? If that opportunity pops up, we're not gonna turn it down. We might complete this cola objective. I think we just did. Yes, we did. Look at that. Just, oh no, hang on, no, we don't close at five, we close at six. Okay, we've completed this. Captain Cola, you can have a day off. Oh, you enjoy it, 200 monies, and you get a lovely day off. Oh, there we go. This looks much better. I much prefer seeing this over here. That is much tidier and much nicer. I do like that. Right, okay, 13 research points. So hopefully by tomorrow, we might be able to unlock the some slightly different buses. But yeah, we are making some very good money. Crikey. Okay, fantastic, says Kathleen. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Um, I think you could have more customers coming to your zoo, though. If you can get more customers coming in on a single day, I would be willing to invest more in your zoo. 
200 visitors in one day. Well, that kind of ties into what we'd like to do anyway. And I think we have a new rabbit variant. I think was that was that from if I press the right button, it might help. Is that from is that from you two? Yes, it is. Oh, that's very good. Well done. Good job. Splendid stuff. Right. Okay. That's good news. Right. So research points were 19 of them now. 19 research points. Hang on. Right. What were we going to get of the buses? That's it. Right. So invest in the big red buses. That gives us a mushroom plant pack and some cardboard boxes for the animals to play in a game. <laughs> that does sound fun. That sounds very nice. Um, let's just use up four of our points. So we've got, there's just one in the middle here. Look, we've got crop seeds. Oh no, but hang on, we could get some cotton candy if we save up. Now let's get crop seeds. Hooray, hooray for the environment and such like. Um, right, okay, so now, can we go down to transport? There we go. We can start investing in some different buses, which means we can then probably get 200 visitors in one day because we've got fancy buses going on. Um, yeah, okay, let's order. Ooh, okay, they're 10,000 of the dollars. Wow. Okay, right. They're, they're expensive. Do you know what? Let's maybe move time on until possibly the end of the week. And over in the nursery, we need to actually take these two animals out. So yeah, okay, you two can return back into your pen. I mean, okay, do we want to breed something like, I mean, maybe the tapirs, maybe the hyenas, possibly. Maybe let's get the, let's get the tapirs breeding. So you can produce, oh, I think you've already got, hang on, how does that work? Yeah, we've already got, we've got those pairs there. We can't breed anything. Oh no, okay, let's not do that then. What about the hyenas? What can we do with those? There you go, there's a new variant there that we might be able to get from those. So do you know what? Yeah, you do that, please. That'll probably be worth doing. And yeah, we've got, it's coming to the end of Saturday. So there we go, so we made quite a bit of money. However, oh crikey, okay, map another genome. Oh, don't, oh no, map two genomes by getting all 10 animal variants. Oh crikey. <laughs> to get the most out of your CRISPR splicer, you really need at least two genomes. It's important that you discover another one. Just collect all 10 species variants of an animal and the genome will be automatically mapped by your researchers. It doesn't matter where you get the animals from, so long as you get them. Okay, right, we shall try our very best. We'll try our best. And with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. The game saves at the end of every day. So yeah, this seems like a fairly good point to leave things for now. We have a great big pile of money. However, there is the chance that at the end of uh, the end of Sunday, so the start of next week, we are going to get rid of our great big pile of money on buying a lovely big red bus. However, that will help us, I think, get 200 visitors in one day, or it certainly, yeah, it'll push us toward that goal. And also there was, was it like a football team or something? There was somebody who said, can you buy a bigger bus? Yeah, it was a football team because they wanted a bus that could hold 11 people or something. So that will complete another task as well, which I think will be very good. And then again, yeah, next time we'll try and get that goal there. I think getting to 100 animals has got to be a very achievable goal. I mean, if we get ourselves another kind of thing over here, get the porcupines in, was it? And then can we get some other things in as well? We can get uh, we get some badgers. Yep, so there we go. So there's plenty for us to do. And of course, over here, we can grab ourselves some other bits and bobs as well. So yeah, we can get to 100 animals. I think that's a very good goal. That's a very sort of achievable thing. So we'll give that a go next time, I think. But yeah, it's a good point to finish things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's Build a Zoo. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. You, Nick, your time is now. And you have missed, Kunik. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Kunik. An Ashes caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> Are you going to land on my potatoes? <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked.